Hey y'all, it's Kenneth Flip Court. Thank y'all so much for your support. So this video, I know why you're here. I demoted myself from the plasma center. So even though I was trained to stick, I started seeing some things that I wasn't necessarily comfortable with at the plasma center. So I talked to a couple of people about it and then I just straight up told my boss, hey, I'm good. <laughs> I'm cool on all the sticking that's going on in here. I didn't even get to the training portion where, you know, you're on the computer and then you go work with your trainer and you're back and forth, you're doing it on the floor, you're coming back and taking the quit. We didn't even get there. I saw, I, for me, it was like, when you work at a hospital or something, you go on one patient at a time, one room at a time, right? To me, you already on your feet 100% of the time. Now I'm babysitting, the ratio is six to one. I'm babysitting six people. So I'm sticking more than six, but I'm babysitting my six people. So what I'm seeing is like, you'll get, I'll stick you. That's patient number one, donor number one. And then donor number two gets stuck. Donor number one is no flowing already. So dang, I gotta go back over here. But these seats are empty. So here come more donors. They waiting to get stuck, right? So I get you straight. Now I come over here and stick him. This one's complaining. I cannot. Like for a dollar and 11 cent less, I'd rather set the machine up and tear it back down. Why not? This is, once again, this is my part-time job. I'm already on my feet. It's cool. I still get to talk to the donors. I still get to interact with them. I still get to do things with the machines and the people. Like, it's cool. But I feel like that level of stress. For what? For what? For a dollar and 11 cent more? I'm cool. And that's just me. I'm cool. When you got people telling you, yo, this ain't even real phlebotomy. Like, what you learned in school, you only going to be using like 10 to 15 percent in here. What? But then when you tell them, yeah, I'm cool from what you just said and what I've observed, like I'm cool on that. They're like, no, it's not that hard. It's not about it being hard. I'm telling you that I'm uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? So of course my trainer was like, why you don't want to stick? I'm like, y'all not scared because I have another job <laughs> where I stick. I just don't feel comfortable here. So she kind of understood because of the type of donors that we have. Um, they're a little bit rowdy, rough boys type donors, but they're cool. I mean, <sighs> um, I just feel like I have to explain too much. She knew where I was coming from, so. So I've been walking around with the same name tag for two months now that says phlebotomist. Week three, I let them know, hey, take me off the list. I want to be a DST, a donor tech support. I'm cool on being a phleb here at this location, right? So, recently, the power went out at my center, right? I got there at 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. I was supposed to work from 8 to 1. Everybody's sitting outside. Donors, I go pull around the back. Everybody who worked there is outside. It was a weekend. So, my shift lead them by breakfast. He bought breakfast. We ate breakfast. We sat there for 45 minutes just for the assistant manager to say, hey, I need y'all to go to another center. Folk went crazy. You hear me? They was highly upset. And I understand. A lot of people live nowhere near that area. Now you want me to drive from my usual workplace to somewhere else. So they were like, we need to be compensated. Y'all gave us this company card. Y'all need to put some, they need to put some money on it. They want us to travel and do the job. I'm just standing there listening to what everybody got to say because I ain't been here that long. So I'm just trying to see, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to read the room. What's up? What we doing? So I go to the center anyway. And when I pull up, like all the people that are supposed to be there, they were there. So they talked all this shit for nothing, right? So, we um we work. We work the whole day. And, like, the people who actually work at this center, they start coming in. They're reading my name tag, like, hey, you a flip? Yeah, you want to stick? And I, I'm, no, no, don't look at my name tag because it's not right. It's not right. In this, they change it in the system as far as pay. 
But on the schedule, it still says Fleb. On my name tag, it still says Fleb. And I'm thinking, this is exactly why I said to change my shit weeks ago. A month ago at that point. Um, I left at 1 o'clock because I thought I was supposed to. But somebody said somewhere that there was supposed to be me working until close. Me and these little legs that work part-time, we're not working until close. I don't know where they saw that at. I called, tried to check on the schedule. Nobody picked up. So, it is what it is. Um, so, that's why I demoted myself. The pay and the responsibility, they don't go together. Not for me. If y'all out there doing it, cool. Do you, boo? I'm sure you don't have a whole nother career that you're pursuing and you can make those type of decisions, but do what works for you. Thank y'all for watching my video. Give me a thumbs up. Like that thing down there. Thank you for y'all support and enjoy your day.